hello it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a new moon reading so the new moon I believe is on the 18th 17th looks like it's on the 17th new moon it says 7 a.m. so I guess it depends on where you live anyway it's this week so let's just see what we got. Well, 7 a.m. It's still going to be on the 17th. So right around the 17th by the looks of things. Yeah. So what do we got? We're going to just see what we have. We're going to start right here. This is a new moon reading. Oh, there it is. Ooh, Eight of Cups, Emotional Withdrawal. So it's probably going to be an emotional new moon. Ah, There's an emotionally disappointing situation that we are probably withdrawing from. This is about following your heart. Looking for something more. So this was probably going to be a new moon of release. And when you release, you typically need to do it alone. So I do believe it is, obviously it's going to be very emotional. Um, probably a lot of praying, talking to the universe, talking to God as something is being released. Somebody could be leaving, you know, and when that happens... It causes discontent, you know. The Eight of Cups is emotional discontent and needing to uh, leave it behind rather than stay. You can't stay in an unhappy situation. If it's not making you happy, you have to go. Somebody's going to need to be alone and process. The Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is at the end of a cycle. That's going to go right here. That's interesting. I never know where I'm going to put the cards. I put that one there. This one's going right here. So there's a cycle that is ending that is causing this emotional withdrawal. This is actually very positive, but it may not see, be seen as positive when it happens. You notice that wheel is running away. You know, it's it's hard to catch it's it's uh, unexpected so I do believe there's an unexpected circumstance that happens that causes a change I think it's very positive I do feel like it may not see be seen as positive when it hap when it happens but everything happens for a reason so this is the end of a cycle which starts the beginning of a new one so that is what is causing this emotional withdrawal change isn't easy it's not easy so I do believe that you know it's it's gonna be a little bit of a I feel like it's gonna be a little bit of a shock positive change is coming but it can't come unless you allow it to somebody you know you can't fight it this is something you can't fight this is a destined change give back today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. I do believe there is somebody that is really going to need, you know, a hand. 
okay? Um, yeah. Somebody needs some sort of positive, it feels like tender, loving care because they're going through something very emotional in their lives. I do believe that there is going to be somebody, some emotional support around. I think that something is happening suddenly as well. It's totally unexpected. It's definitely out of routine. It says cast aside normal routines. Obviously, this was unexpected. Okay. You might you might need to go above and beyond. There could be somebody in your circle that is uh, that needs you. What do we have? What do we have for the new moon? Chariot reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. Could be dealing with a cancer. It doesn't have to be a cancer, but it could be a Pisces. Could be a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Very emotional. Unable to master emotions. And it makes sense. I do believe it's going to be something very emotional is going to happen. There could be an emotional outburst. Okay, something happens. It happens really fast. I do believe it is totally unexpected. It may have something to do with a wheel. Okay, because this is a wheel. We have a wheel. So I'm not sure if it has to do with a car. I mean, I don't know. It may have something to do with a vehicle. Okay. Um, this is unable to master emotions. Okay, this is an outburst or something coming to a stop or, or getting out of control. Um, mm, tears. I think there will probably be some tears. There could be some, uh, I don't know, feels like there's police involved. Police or, what do you call them people? Uh, you know, responders, some sort of responders. Maybe it's first responders, maybe it's EMS, I don't know. Uh, somebody that is in that kind of field, you know. Somebody that responds to the scene, whatever that means. Um, I do feel like there's going to be emotion. It's going to be emotional. Um, emotions all over the place. It's definitely going to be emotional. I know that it is. Ace of Pentacles. There's a loss here. There is. There is a loss. It's a loss of something that somebody was hanging on to. They were hanging on. They can't hang on anymore. This is slipping away. It is a loss. It's like it's. It is. No win, okay? What the hell? There could be an interruption. There could be a... Something is happening. Something is happening. There's going to be some sort of interruption. Something. It's going to be surprise. Um, this is a surprising loss of some sort. A loss. And it's... it's you can't prevent it. It's You can't prevent it. What the hell is this? Four of Pentacles. See, somebody was trying to hold on. They were trying to hold on. They were greedy, obsessed with holding on, but they can't hold on anymore. Somebody may have been obsessed with money, but they're losing something of big value because they are obsessed, because they are greedy. The universe works in mysterious ways. Okay, they do. So there's somebody that is very greedy that is losing something of value. May have something to do with a vehicle. Okay. Um, there could be even be an accident. I just, I mean, I have to be honest with you. We got this tire that is rolling away and this is a vehicle that is, you know, at the cherry verse can absolutely, and this is a, tire or wheel. I don't know what is going on. I know it's a pentacle, but from what I see, 
it feels like there is something getting out of control, going out of control, but it's actually meant to happen. You know, this is meant to happen. I'm not sure if there's going to be an accident or what. This person is very selfish, very greedy. Something to do with three, because we got three here in one of the wheels. You better check the tires. Just check your tires. Um, yeah. Knight of Cups reversed. Now, the, the Knight of Cups reversed is somebody that lies, is deceiving. Is emotionally cold, can't face reality. There could be some alcohol abuse or drug abuse. We have somebody here that is, um, there's going to be emotional outbursts, just so you know. Somebody could even end up throwing a tantrum, throwing a fit. Definitely going to be very emotional. There's somebody may have a grudge against somebody. They're very upset. Somebody is very upset. Hmm. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is somebody who takes action. They act without thinking. Somebody could do something without thinking. They could. They could do something out of emotion. They can't master their emotions and they they maybe they are moving too fast and they they're they're not thinking mm, something is happening here this person moves very very fast they do something you know impulsive out of emotion they can't control their emotions they it's like this is a risky individual this person takes risks this risk is going to cause them a big loss Huge loss. Mm. Five of Pentacles reverse. This is to this is a big loss. This is like a major loss. This is a total ruin for somebody that is obsessed with holding on to money, obsessed with holding on for the money. This is somebody that is very greedy and, and this is a miser. We have a miser here that is very greedy that is about to, it's almost like they're going to be ruined. This is a disgrace. It is embarrassment. And I do feel like there's some sort of embarrassment here, which is interesting. Huge loss of something of value for this individual who abandoned another person. Boy, this is Wheel of Fortune is karma. It really is. Karma really is unbelievable. Okay, so there is uh, whoever abandoned, this is abandonment, and ghosted another individual because they were greedy and selfish is about to have a big, huge loss. There is somebody that is very impulsive, that doesn't think before they act. This person probably has a big ego, may think that they are invincible. This person is out of control, but they are. They are. They're out of control. May even be delusional. Interesting. What is happening here? The King of Pentacles. This person wants to hold on to their money. Look at that face. That's interesting. Hmm. I have never seen this card before. This guy wants to hold on to something. He wants to hold on. He's very clever. Very, very, very clever. Very cunning. Very skilled. So he has a golden opportunity in his hands. But this individual is taking on this energy of being... This is somebody that is of a seducer. That is a flirt. 
this person flirts, okay? The Knight of Cups, somebody comes to sweep you off their feet and then drop you. So we may have an individual that's coming in with an offer because maybe they were rejected. <coughs> There's an offer here. This guy has an offer. He's coming with something big. But with the Knight of Cups reversed, this is somebody that is a womanizer. If this is all about lust, this is about lust, it's a one night stand, this is a liar, somebody that is deceptive, this is a con man, this is somebody that um, is obsessive, very controlling, uh, doesn't really want commitment, could be a commitment pho phobic, this is somebody that is very calculating, very, very lustful. So I feel like we have somebody here that is unable to master emotions, maybe they were rejected. They were rejected. And so they're looking for some sort of instant gratification, which is interesting. So I don't know whose part that is for. This reading is going to take what resonates and leave the rest. We have somebody here that is obsessed. They are obsessed. This is somebody that is greedy and selfish, that is embarrassed. They're embarrassed. Which is interesting. That King Queen of Cups reverse is somebody that is. Um, disappointed, heartbroken. We have heartbreak here. This this heartbroken person has experienced a loss or, or isn't offering anything solid. Now this one is off. So that was freaking interesting. So this one's not offering anything solid. Definitely not. Very emotional. Emotional wreck by the looks of things. This is Definitely an emotional wreck. Hearing things. Anyhow, we have an emotional wreck here. Somebody's going to end up being an emotional wreck or over a loss. And I don't know what this, this loss could be of this person right here. That this could be their husband. Could be a husband. Could be a boyfriend. Could be a job. This guy is the money maker. Okay. Looks like this guy is taking his opportunity elsewhere. <laughs> he is. He's turning his back. He is. He's taking it elsewhere. And I think it's all of a sudden. All of a sudden, he don't want to be in this relationship anymore. He's taking his offer elsewhere, which is interesting. So, we could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that is no longer interested in... Uh, giving to whoever this person is that is very greedy and selfish and materialistic. Taking his offer elsewhere. Hmm. We definitely have emotional withdrawal. Four of Wands reverse. Yeah, this is the end of a commitment. Or not, not happy. This party is over. This party is over. The honeymoon is over. This ain't nothing to celebrate. This is a messy situation. I'm. It's over. I'm going home. Getting out of here. Somebody's going home. There's nothing left here. This isn't happily ever after. Eight of Swords. Oh my God. So that is is uh, con conflicted. We have somebody here that is meant. They're trapped, trapped in their thoughts. They haven't been able to see. They haven't been able to see the truth. They were choosing not to see the truth. They're in some sort of denial. Denial over whoever it is that they were playing with. Whoever they, you know, were playing with. They're in some sort of denial. But now they're turning their back because they don't see any long-term potential there. There's no commitment coming from that person who is very selfish that wants to ha wants to hold on to them but doesn't want to let go of whatever else they have, whatever else they're holding on to. So anyhow, I feel as though we have somebody here that is taking action. They're taking action because... They've been rejected by another person. That's what I see. Oh, 
whoever this person is that is taking action though doesn't appear to be looking for a relationship okay they're not emotionally available they don't have anything solid to offer nothing long term they're looking for somebody it's a rebound they're looking for somebody to rescue them from their own mind from their own thoughts from their own fears from their from the mess that they are currently in and that's why we have emotional withdrawal okay they have just ended a cycle with somebody that I feel like rejected them you know put the brakes on stop them in their tracks And it's like they realize they're not going anywhere. That's why that tire is off. You can't go anywhere with three wheels. You've got to have four. Well, you can. We're not going to get into that. But typically, you know what I'm saying? Anyhow, it's like we, we're, this isn't going anywhere. And it's like a realization this isn't going anywhere. So they, it's almost like whoever gets rejected decides to make an offer elsewhere. Because they're looking for solace. <laughs> King of Swords reversed. Yeah. This whoever this individual is 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 dishonest. They're being dishonest. They are lacking integrity. Okay, this person lacks integrity and they're just looking for, to fill a void. And I'm sorry to give that message. I am sorry to give that message. I think we have somebody here that someone is, this is exactly what it says. It is highly likely that someone really needs it today. Somebody really needs attention. And I understand that. Somebody needs attention because they were rejected. And this could resonate in whatever way that you want it to resonate. We have somebody here that is turning their back on somebody that rejected them do you know what I mean now that they realize that there's no commitment or there's no celebration or there's no party it's like it's time to uh, go get some attention someplace else there's no healing here there's no healing okay this is complete uh, come save me you know, come save me from this. Be my hero, that kind of thing. Which is interesting. We do have somebody coming in. Okay, this is somebody coming in. That isn't looking for a relationship. Okay, this person is very cold at this moment. They're only thinking about themselves. That is it. It doesn't lead to anything solid. So beware. Beware. We also have an ending here. Okay, which we do with the Wheel of Fortune. That is an ending. It's the end of one cycle and the beginning of another one. That's what we have here. That's what we have here. Take time to heal. Alone. We have the world card on the bottom. That's what I was just looking at, this ending. This is a completion in that world, that Wheel of Fortune is as well. So we have an ending. This is completing one cycle and beginning anew. Learning a lesson. So somebody is learning a big lesson. It's the end of an era. It's the end of a phase. It's the end of a project. It's the end of a relationship. It's the end of a marriage. It's the end of a job. It's the end of something big that affected you, that taught you a lesson. It is definitely going to be emotional. I'm sure of it by the looks of things. Emotions are going to be all over the place because there's going to be a sudden 
I feel like it's a sudden loss. And I think it's a loss of somebody that uh, contributed quite a bit. This person contributed somehow. Okay, this is a contributor. I do feel like we have somebody that is going to be very, very, very upset. They may say some really mean things. I think there's going to be some mean words that are said. I think there's going to be emotional outbursts. I think it's going to be messy. I just got to be honest. We get the Four of Wands reversed. You think about the Four of Wands, that's a party. That's a celebration. It's like going to the fair and it's the end. Of the, it's like the fair's over and now it's time to clean up the mess. That's the Four of Wands in reverse. This is messy. It's time to clean up this mess. It's going to be a messy situation. Anyhow, we have the end of something, the end of something that is no longer, and it's unplanned. It's unplanned. It happens all of a sudden. It is what it is. Good luck.